I believe in eternity because we're eternal beings. I've learned something that whatever God does, he finishes and he continues. I've always said this, every person's work must be a continuation. Where there's an Abraham, there's got to be an Isaac. Where there's an Isaac, there's got to be a Jacob. Where there's a Moses, there's got to be a Joshua. Think about that. In other words, God starts something. And I want to talk about that today. And I, let me just give you this little story. A few years ago, I flew to England to preach the gospel. And I, was, I, went to, I have offices in Bath, England. And, uh, or Bath, however they say it over there. One, one part says Bath and the other says Bath. And uh, to make a long story short, uh, I'm a man, I love architecture and I love artwork and I collect a lot of artwork and different things over the years. Me and Kathy are pretty good collectors of all kinds of stuff you can think of. And, uh, and anyway, to make a long story short, I had a few, couple of hours, so I told them, I said, look, I said, I'm going to walk around this city. They said, well, you want to get a cab? Uh, I said, no, I just want to walk around. And I walked in, I w went in front of the Bath or Bath Abbey. Has anybody ever been to Bath, England or anything? Might know what I'm talking about. You've been there, sir? Okay. And a beautiful player, beautiful structure. Uh, it took 600 years to build. Little did I realize that God would give me a revelation that day for the church world. Completely. For his kingdom. Because everything must be, must be a continuation. And it must be taught that way. And yet it hasn't. And uh, I was standing there, and I, and I was looking at this beautiful edifice, and it was just such a glorious thing. To make a long story short, in my mind, you know, I, I thought, Lord, how do you keep motivation and momentum going for 600 years? Because the people that started supporting that church was not going to see, the, see it built. 600 years. How do you keep people giving to a project for 600 years? Because the people that first started out would not see the... Um, uh, the finishing of it. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, perpetual giving. I said, what? He said, perpetual giving. I said, what do you mean? He said, if I told you to give, and I'm going to use living word as an example. If I told you to give the living word, or if I brought you the living word, what makes you think I wouldn't tell your children to do it? And then your children's children. And then your children's 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 children. And then your children's 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 children. And so forth. Because you see, God doesn't quit. The universe is expanding right now faster than the speed of light. That's 186,000 miles a second. God is so good. Did you just feel it? You didn't feel it, did you? The Milky Way galaxy is turning at 140 miles a second. By the time I finish talking, by the time I finish today, it would be literally, good God, thousands and hundreds of thousands of miles, but you didn't feel it. Did you also feel how the earth moved? It's traveling 66,000 miles an hour right now as it orbits around the sun, but you didn't feel it. And the Bible says as long as the earth remained, there'd be seed time and harvest time. This is the kind of God we serve. See, he's into eternalness, and I want to deal with that. For just a few minutes, I'll deal with that later on, uh, Roy. Uh, I, I want to deal with this. So if you've got your Bibles, I'd like you to turn with me to the book of Genesis chapter 18. The book of Genesis chapter 18, and you'll be blessed by it. And I, I want to do, so I'm, I'm going to do a little teaching and, and uh, try to get this all in if I can. In fact, Brother Copeland asked me to write, a, I talked to him a little bit about it at the board meeting. I don't know if Mac remembers it because he's on the board of KCM also. He said, Jesse, you need to write something for the Believer's Voice of Victory on that. And someone was there to prove what I was saying was true. The son of a man who's now on the board of directors of KCM, uh, the father told him to be a part of KCM as a child. So it's perpetual. It keeps going on. But I realized something that God wants everything done. Why would God create living word for just a generation? Especially when he named it living word. So if it's living, it shouldn't die. We were not supposed to die. We were created to live forever. Yet we're pretty good at medicine. Right now we can replace your heart, your lungs, your kidneys. But your body has to be fooled. You have to take drugs so your body doesn't reject it. Why is your body rejecting an organ that you need? Because it's saying, where is my original heart? Where is my original kidney? It knows it immediately. Think about that. This process, the Bible said we're wonderfully made. And you have to fool it with drugs because it will reject it because your, your kidney or your lungs was not supposed to die. And that's what your body's saying. So that proves the creation of God. 
that we should have lasted forever. As I was standing before that great abbey there in Bath, England, I asked the Lord, we were talking, he said, I'm going to tell you why I chose Abraham. Because he understands eternalness. And in Genesis chapter 18, I want to start reading verse 18. God says this, and I'm reading out of the King James Version. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Why? Why did he choose him for this? For I know him that he will command or teach his children his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord. Let me say it again. For I know him that he will teach or command his children and his household after him. In other words, God is starting eternity right there concerning the covenant of God. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.